Hello, yellow everyone. Uh, Biowolf here from uh, your RPG Maker's Leader, I guess. Sort of. I'm Pasta King. Pasta Lord? Pretty sure I'm Pasta King. Pasta King. Yeah. Uh, we are here with uh, the first tutorial. So this time I'm gonna, or for the first time, not this time, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make a UI health bar, or GUI, GUI. So, as usual, you would just simply go into, you gotta get your screen GUI and your star GUI. I'm assuming that through all my tutorials, I'm going to assume immediately that you guys have all, like, some scripting experience and GUI experience, so I'm not gonna go over everything. If you guys have questions or comments or anything about something I do in the videos that I do from now on, put put in the comments obviously or post in the group something like that so I know what I could do next video to improve uh, so you want to have a good naming convention good naming conventions are always a good thing health bar I personally would not recommend spaces I do spaces sometimes but you have to do a whole entire new thing for that so I mean, you guys know how to do that so uh, then we have to add a frame so we're gonna go over the most simplest part of this. So we're gonna have health bar, and then we're gonna scroll down here. Let's see. No, nope, that's position. Whoops. And then, okay. So you guys should know, hopefully, that this side is offset for X and Y or Z if you want to call it Z but give or take so 0.5 for now and 0.5 for now you so if for those who don't know UDMI or UDIM I'm gonna try to explain that I like I said I do assume that you do know some of this but I'm assuming most of you do offset uh, I used to do offset as well it was a lot easier for me perspectively but uh, UDIM uh, doing it this way with the numbers in front is a whole lot easier for those who can't see the full screen on the computer because it resizes it to scale. So I'm gonna. So if I were to do that, resizes resizes that to scale. Whoops. So it resizes to 0.5 out of this screen right here. And then, so. It is huge, I will say that. But we will come, we're gonna have to put this in the middle. And the best way to put it in the middle for me is doing it several ways. It's all about trial and error from here. Ooh. I'm gonna go over basic uh, GUI elements for this. I'm not gonna go into any other. Um, how to make a good actual health bar. I haven't even made a good actual health bar for the for my games. I'm lazy. Probably not a good habit, but I'm lazy. I keep screwing that up. Ah boo. There we go. And then we shall keep moving this to at least try and get into mill. Reduce the size on this. Bring this up a bit. That's still really big. There we go. Let's try 9.5. So I'm going to actually try making this look like the regular uh, Roblox health bar. Except with our own twist. Just because it looks nice. Better. Somewhat. Yeah, I think this is a good size. Probably can move it slightly towards the middle a bit more. Uh, that's a bit too far. There we go. So, you can put it anywhere on the screen. I do not... Uh, those who are doing rotate, I do not recommend that. There's rotation right here. Never do rotate. There's a bunch of problems with it, in my opinion. It does not look t as nice as you think. And it's also a new feature that I personally disagree with to a degree but now we have the health bar frame 
or a health bar background. <coughs> Sorry about that, kind of sick. But let's just name it background. It saves our time. And again, leave the style as normal. So uh, Z index. This is very important. Uh, no, I as far as things go, I did not start using this until after my recent update. But uh, Z index is essentially layers. Uh, I'm gonna try explain that in a moment. And this is probably the best part of uh, the UDIM UDIM two right here. So it resizes to the full thing. So you have n you don't have to do anything else when you make a f new frame. So I could just do that. Call it good. Now we do kind of want to make it a bit smaller. Just in my opinion. Uh, let's try that. Yeah, that's a bit better. And we're gonna try moving it to the middle. Oh no, that wasn't enough. Is it not small enough right there? Which one was it? Uh, let's do 7.5. That's a bit better, but... Yeah, that works. I like that. And then I shall name this health. So, uh, let's try to make it look a bit neater with a black bar in the back. And then let's add some background transparency. Ah, oh, that looks nice. So, there we go. We have a basic health bar. I'm assuming that you guys have at least gotten this down. So, now for the fun scripting part. Uh, it would be nice to have... Hmm, that might be a good idea. Let's duplicate this. Throw that in there. Yeah, cool, sweet. I like this idea. <coughs> yep, sweet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try making that s invisible. Sweet. So if I were to make this invisible, it's gone. So now what I did there is... So, to save us time, we have this already set to the size of this that we want. And I'm going to just name this uh, layer. <coughs> Sorry about all that. And so, this makes it easier because since this resizes to 1, it actually takes up the full bar. So, we can actually use it 100%. So, now we shall go into the local script. Okay. For those of you who do not know, we had there is a thing called tweening. I should probably bring that up because I cannot remember exactly all the functions for tweening. And we should probably name this health monitor. There we go. So while well, true do as usual, and probably do wait 0.1. I'm going to go do this because there's I guarantee you no one there's no way an enemy or anything can hit you that fast as Roblox's weight if I recall regular like that does actually only this far <coughs> and that's a bit too far there we go about that far so I don't think anything else damages you faster than that type of frame so and let's see where are you tweening so uh, since we got that set up, uh, we're gonna do script dot parent dot health, and then there it is a function. Okay, cool. Okay, so tween size. Nope. Where is tween size? There you go. Tween size. And then we would put down. I think. Okay, so we put down UDIM2, not new. Then we would put set to our UDIM. So since I believe this is X, yes, I know. I know that something's wrong with it. Is this our X? 0, 0.0. Yep, cool, sweet. That's our X value. We do not do anything to the Y value. 
So we'll do, we'll have this set to, uh, let's actually bring out the player here. Game .players local player. This gets the local player for those who do not know. It gets the player that the script belongs to. Oops. And then we get the character of that local player. So you get uh, PRL dot health or dot humanoid dot health <coughs> divide by PRL dot humanoid dot max health. So what we essentially have done here is to explain we have the player health rate here for those with math. This is a percentage of health. So like a hundred would be 100 divided by 100 is equals 1, so that gives us our 1 there, and then like 80 gives us gives us 80% of that, and then so forth, or 0.8, so it continues down, that's why I wanted to set that to what I did. So, you know, down, down, and then there's a bunch of other ways I can do that for easing. I believe I'm missing down let's see am I missing anything with this function uh, tween size let's see you have easy in direction okay so by default I believe it is out you got n size out so you have in out and then I believe linear or something like that We'll do quad just for this. Whoops, quad. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do linear because linear makes more sense for this. Unless you guys want to do something else, and I'm entirely fine with that. Then we have time, so we want 0 0.1. And then that'll be it. Uh, let's see. And then here's another one that we should probably do. Enum dot easing direction. Dot. You got in and then you got out. And in, out, and in, out. So we were doing out because it, because give or take. Yeah. I actually don't know why they have out in there. Out actually doesn't make sense. Let me look at that. Let's see. Easing direction. Out. Hmm. We'll find out. So now we're gonna hit play, and there we go. So let's go into here and damage the player a bit. Probably should have put a block down. And see what happened. No. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder why I did that. Ah, let's see. Line three. Elf is not a valid member of frame. Script not parent not. Oh, okay. That is why. There we go. Sorry about that. Let us see now. Probably could have made a block that damages us just to test it, but give or take. Oh, there we go. Sweet. See? It even shows the regening. There was obviously a small delay when I did that because of the 0.1 seconds. But it's not too huge of a delay. I guarantee you the players will not realize that. But that is currently how you make a health script or a health UI. Uh, I believe we are st we still have that one UI underneath it though, so uh, I believe that's in Core GUI. Let's see, Core GUI, what you have underneath you? So we go to replicate first local script. Uh, whoops, not name that. Let's name this. 
uh, disable health bar or de disable default health and then we we'll just do this hmm hmm hold on one moment and I'm back okay that took me a while to figure this out but so it is game that started GUI so this is still in the local script um, and then we do a set uh, core GUI enabled method and then we will put down enable dot core enum not enable GUI type and then we'll choose health and then we set that to false so now when we start this up now the GUI should be gone underneath the player's health if you have for those who are playing the UI elsewhere so just to test this out let's move it to the side a bit yeah it's gone and just to make sure yep sweet so there we go guys that was the health bar uh, if you have any questions put them in the comments uh, Subscribe to this channel to see their videos and all the extra stuff. Also, if you have any recommendations, put them in the comments like I said earlier. And post them in the group. See you guys all later.